Hi students, I'm making this video so that you uh, can become familiar with how to use Stellarium uh, to view objects uh, that you want to uh, see using the Spirit Telescope. So it's for finding the objects that you want to uh, capture with the Spirit Telescope. The first step that you need to do is you need to go to the left hand side of the uh, screen. Uh, this uh, list of options will appear and you can press the top one which says location window. You need to set the location uh, away from Paris, France to Perth, Australia. So in the search bar just here, you write in Perth and click on Perth, Australia. Then you can close that box. You can now see the night sky because it's around 8 o'clock when I'm doing this, so it is night time. The next thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that the deep sky objects will appear labelled so that you can find them more easily because these are the sorts of objects which you can see best with the spirit telescopes. So you go down to the bottom of the screen and the little galaxy shaped object here it says deep sky objects, so I'll get rid of that, galaxy shaped here deep sky objects and it will bring up all the objects that you can potentially view. So I'm going to choose one, I'm going to choose the Rosette Nebula uh, and it comes with, it, once you click on it, it gives you a whole bunch of information about what that object is. It also gives you some of these important code names which we will talk about in a second but you can't really see the object here so in order to determine what it looks like and then you can decide whether you want to take a picture of that you need to press the forward slash button and that will zoom in to give you an idea of what that object looks like I've decided that's a very pretty object and I think it will make a good image uh, to take with the telescope so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write out on a piece of paper Rosette Nebula C50 NGC 2244 CR99 and I'm going to use any one of these codes to input into the Spirit Telescope in order to, for it to locate the Rosette Nebula so that I can image it using the Spirit Telescopes. If I decide that I don't want to look at that particular object in the sky, I can press the backspace button, or the backslash button, sorry, and then I can choose another one. So I might go, okay, I've decided I want to look at the Beehive Cluster instead zoom into that and you can see what the beehive cluster looks like as well. That's really all you need to do in order to use Stellarium to find the appropriate numbers or code names for your objects that you'll put into the Spirit Telescopes.